The Dr. No Fallacy I just love learning about logical fallacies. There's a great website which describes a bunch of them, and it's fun to page through them and learn how to improve one, one's logic and rhetoric. Here's the begging the question fallacy, which is a form of circular argument. And here's the tu quoque, kind of like trying to turn the tables. Yeah, but, but what about... But here's something that caught my eye. The Dr. No fallacy. Casting blame after skipping a prerequisite. Interesting. This logically incoherent argument often arises in situations where people insist upon speed rather than logical order and jump over one or more essential steps. Like many fallacies that try to turn the tables, it is closely related to a lack of personal responsibility. It is named for the Dr. No character who skipped the step of kill James Bond first in favor of fast-tracking his project of disrupting Project Mercury. Example, the college student was angry with his undergraduate advisor after failing calculus when the advisor had suggested a semester of pre-calculus first. Fascinating. I could just imagine the legendary Dr. No with a personal to-do list, but he's so excited to launch his evil plans that he skips step one. And it doesn't look like it turned out too well for him. But at least he's listed first on Entertainment Weekly's list of top death scenes in the James Bond franchise. Before I tell you why I was so tickled to learn about this fallacy, let's talk about the Eratosthenes method. The first known estimate of the Earth's size came from Eratosthenes measuring a shadow in Alexandria on the summer solstice. Since he knew the Earth was a globe, the change in angle between Alexandria and Syene was due to the curvature of the Earth. Thus, he was able to estimate its size. Clever fellow. But the exact same procedure can be used on a flat Earth. Of course, it won't give us the size of the Earth, but with a little trigonometry, you can estimate the height of the small local sun above the plane of the flat Earth. Which gets us to the purpose of this video. I was talking to this guy on the internet, and I was trying to explain how to find the size of the Earth. Step one is to figure out the shape of the Earth. Step two is to measure its size. But how do you find the Earth's radius, the R value? Well, you really need to do step one first. How do you find the R value? Um, step one, finding the shape of the Earth must be done first. Otherwise, the method to find R doesn't make sense. How do you find the R value? Well, okay, if you insist, you can use the Eratosthenes method. You're begging the question, presupposing a sphere to prove the Earth is a sphere, you miserable lying snuffleupagus. Well, well, Mr. Man, you have executed a textbook example of the Dr. No fallacy, casting blame after skipping a prerequisite. Special thanks to my channel supporters with memberships and super chats. I do appreciate how you encourage me to keep going in the face of occasional unpleasantness. And to all the folks in the comment sections, please remember to be kind to each other. Bye.